Welcome back, everybody, to a new series of Rimod, and I think this one uh, people will enjoy, especially if you enjoyed the jolt playthroughs, the more hardcore survival playthroughs. This is a way I've never played Rimod before, and I've never seen anyone play Rimod like this. I'm sure someone has, obviously, at some point, but I personally haven't seen anyone approach the game in the way that we have here. So it's kind of a... It, it's very much a survival pack, but there's a little more of a horror twist or a little more of a horror, a horror element to it. I've set up some other various features to make it quite difficult, and survival is going to be really key here. Now, for those of you who are interested in also playing along, at the end of the video, as per with every series, I'll have an install guide using the mod manager. I'll show you guys how to get this set up and to get your load order quickly done using a Steam Workshop collection and using a file I'll provide, which will uh, quickly set up your mod load order for you. That being said, Let's dive in here. So the core focus of this one is survival. Is going to be big abandoned cities full of raiders. It's going to be zombies. It's going to be just just a horrible mess. It's going to be a horrible mess. Let's dive in. New colony. Now I have set up, as you can see here, a scenario called Broken World. I guess I could stick this up in the workshop. People are really interested, but it's not that you know, it's not that interesting here. So we start with one person. Naturally, as we would with any survival playthrough, we don't want a massive old colony to have to log around, huh? There is an incoming planet killer weapon in 365 days, which apparently in Rimworld is six years. I had no idea it was six years, but it's 365 days. Um, toxic sensitivity will be universally multiplied by 50%. Now, the world is very radioactive. There are going to be toxic fallouts every 15 days or something like that. But it's a minor toxic fallout, so it's, it's going to affect us less. If we have to travel during it, we can, but obviously doing that over the long term is going to get very, very risky. Let's carry on. Who do you want to play on? I think we'll go Randy Random Savage, and what do you think? Commitment mode? That seems pretty fair. Let's go ahead and randomize this. We don't want the world to be too big. We want it to be big enough to provide a challenge, because one of the ways I think that we're... Obviously, there's a couple of ways to survive it. We have to get off the planet no matter what. We could A, build our own spaceship, or we could B, get on the spaceship that the AI provides. And honestly, given the type of playthrough, given that we're going to have to keep moving to avoid zombies, to avoid infestation, Maybe get into the spaceship as the first part of this campaign would be a great idea. And then when we get there, set up a more permanent base, lots of turrets, that type of thing to help defend ourselves. Um, so we want to go for, yeah, let's just randomize the seed a little bit more. Viscera, that seems appropriate for this playthrough, huh? We'll go for just regular old defaults then besides that. We don't want a world that's too big because we are going to be traveling across the world. If there's a lot of world pawns, if there's a lot of various, you know, cities, settlements, it's going to slow down the game quite a lot. So then, Zombie Land settings. Zombie Land is going to be the sort of core mod here. I have actually already set up uh, the, the playthrough. I've, I've set up the various settings that I want to see here. Now, what I've done is I've made it so more zombies will appear. However, they're a little less dangerous than normal. So I've made it so that there are potentially up to 500 zombies on that. We could, we could crank that higher, I think. Let's say that we could have up to 1,000 zombies on the map. Oh, it hasn't saved all of my settings either, so I'll uh, have to quickly redo this. We want the zombies to turn up, obviously, immediately. So I'm going to set that to zero days, so that we'll have to deal with them starting off here. We'll make it so that there are always three times the amount of colony multiplier. That way, if we do have a small but powerful, well-defended colony, we'll still be threatened by it. As it says here, zombie land estimates far too zombies because it's intended for sort of big old you get zombies per the amount of colonists you've got. Small amount of colonists means a small amount of zombies, but we still want to be threatened, right? Zombies per colonist, how about we set that to 50? This sounds like it's going to be very difficult. Zombie speed, if they're calm, uh, we'll make that slightly higher, so they are still threatening, but we'll make the excited speeds a little bit lower, so that if we are overwhelmed with our first starting character here, we're not going to get too, uh, we're not going to get too annihilated. Zombie damage multiplier, I'm happy to turn that down a little bit, so there is kind of survival if we do get caught in the middle of a horde. Now, this one's interesting. If there are, if we do want to play this one lone sort of survivor, how much steel do we want turrets to use? Well, I'm going to set that to a lot, lot lower. I'm going to set it to like 75% because we're not going to have a huge sprawling colony like we had last time. I think one survivor versus all these zombies would be much more interesting. So go for like a 75%. Rest of the zombie bite is infectious. I'm going to drop that down as well. Time until it's known will make it a lot lower, but you have to treat it quicker. So we'll set it down to like uh, 10 hours treatment time. Duration of infection, I think five days again, just in case our only colonist here gets infected. This is sort of what I was doing last time. I did upload these to the uh, to the cloud, but the load buttons disappeared. Maybe it's where I've uh, restarted here. Now, the other thing I wanted to do, there is a button that I want to change here. Zombies recover from injuries off. Otherwise, if we're playing with one guy, that's going to be very, very difficult, huh? Um, and I would kind of like it if animals also attack zombies, because it does make sense that. Let's get zombies to attack all creatures, and animals will attack back. I think that could make a bit more of a dynamic world here. You know, we could use animals as a distraction from the zombies. So no matter where we dive in, we will always spawn in a city, an abandoned city, where we can immediately start scrounging up, you know, gear, weapons, whatever else, food. 
And then we'll go off on our great adventure. This is a big world, and I actually really like the way this world has spawned, huh? Very sort of cyclical. Now, where would the ship spawn in is the real question. I don't think it can spawn in on the ice shelf because, of course, there's no, there's no route to the ice shelf. We want to spawn somewhere in the middle. That way, if the ship spawns over here, we've got to travel halfway. You know, it, it's only ever going to be the radius of this continent we have to travel. So we're going to go somewhere around the Prime Moose Bite. Okay, uh, let's land on a sort of major road as well. I kind of want to go for somewhere where... We do have at least some survival odds. We don't want to spawn right up in the mountains. Let's go for like here. How about that? That seems pretty good. Temperate forest. Next. Okay. Now again, we're not going to be standing still for too long, so it doesn't really matter where we start. I've already set up a character. This is uh, this is Zilp Zomble. You might recognize him. He's uh, he's one of our classic remote characters here. Not particularly skilled. I've given him good shooting, good melee. Low construction, but with a passion in it. So if we need to build up, over time we could obviously make him into a good builder. He's got basic survival skills. Not good with animals, not good with art, not good with mining particularly. Kind of okay with people. Intellectual is high, because obviously if we've only got one guy researching, we need to focus on that. Let me load the preset Zilp, because I've already set him up some equipment. We are starting with, very simply, three survival meals, just his packed lunch, and a wrench. That's it. He's our lost technician, just woken up from a head injury in the middle of this abandoned city. Sort of 28 weeks later style, huh? This is going to be interesting. And like I said, we've got realistic darkness mods. We've got fog of war mods. This is going to be very much a spooky old playthrough. Here we go. Legends say before the... I haven't proofread this, by the way, so bear with me. Legends say before the end times, the world was home to many races, factions, in constant conflict. One of these factions, a union of beast, magic, science, religion, and universal force, unified under a single banner. For ten days and ten nights, the other factions and civilizations of the planets attempted to destroy this convergence. They repelled, but they were not unsuccessful. Something within the convergence stronghold was damaged in the assault and ultimately malfunctioned bathing the planet in radiation. Mutants, raiders, and people desperate for survival roam the land, killing and taking whatever they want as they find it. The galactic government is sending the Murder Sun, a super weapon. <laughs> you see what I did there, Murder Sun? Designed to wipe out infested and irredeemable worlds. We have to survive, and we have to get out of here. We've spawned in. There's immediately a dead person there. Oh, Twinkies are survival meals, essentially. Ah, and our trusty wrench. Right, so, if I middle mouse kick on this one, we will now follow Zilp around, which means if we draft him up, camera will follow him. How cool is that? It feels like a proper, almost feels very Fallouty. For those of you who played Fallout 1, Fallout 2, it gives me that kind of vibe. Let's absolutely grab our survival meals here, so we're going to have to quickly undraft Jill. Now, for this first day, there will be zombies spawning. We want to grab as much as we can. We need to find a good balance between grabbing as many supplies as possible, but without hanging around so long that uh, that the zombies just devour us, right? So let's untick that. Let's go grab those simple meals as well, little Jilp. Uh, sorry, little Zilp. Sorry, definitely Zilp. And let's go and get your trusty wrench as well, my friend. There we are. Be nice if we could interact everything while drafted. I might see if there's a mod for that at some point as well. Right, okay. Let's go and have a look around the map. Let's go and see what we can find. We're looking for gear, weapons, armor, anything along those lines. Um, oh, what's in here then? There is a boomalope. Like, honestly, starting off with a gun would be fantastic. We've got our steel wrench, which is obviously a nice little bit of defense. And if you look over at the side here, you can see how many zombies are coming in. Four zombies are on the map right now, and that's going to increase the longer we take. So we ideally need to get as many resources. Ah, oh, medicine is a really, really good find here early on. Let's quickly grab that. Thank you. Get into my inventory. Right, okay, six zombies. This is going to get very dangerous. And again, they will attack the animals because they're probably desperate for food. There's no living people here. You know, there's the occasional corpse lying around or whatnot. And this map, by the way, is is huge. I mean, you can clearly see the size of it. It's quite a, it's quite a massive place that we could explore. We don't want to spend too long, because again, the longer we rate, the more zombies we're going to get here. I would really like a gun, though. No pressure. It's like a weird ship chunk, I guess, where someone tried to escape, but obviously failed. Okay. And again, with the Fog of War mod, even though we're clearing this Fog of War, traditionally in strategy games, you get two different types of fog. You get fog, and then you get shroud. So fog is the areas you haven't quite explored yet. So this this much darker grainy pattern is the fog. And then the shroud is the things... What is that? Animal pulsar. Okay. Is the sort of... So so even though we've explored this area, we haven't actually got vision on it. So you see, as we come back around here, it'll fill back in. And similarly, we now can't see the corner of that room. So if a zombie came through that door during that time, we wouldn't be able to see it. If you haven't played with the Fog of War mod, you should get used to it pretty quickly. Um, Please, just give me a frigging weapon or something, my man. Oh, uh, what is that? You see that? There's someone out there. Pause. Um, Twinkies. They're survival meals, essentially. I think that's like a zombie land, you know, like the movie reference. Quickly pick those up. All right. Get your weapon ready, because there was a, there was a person out there. Right, little Zilp. Good luck. <gasps> oh, it's James and Jonah. Uh, raiders. Th thieves. Okay, come on. Take them down. Don't die in the first battle here. They look like they're fleeing, but let's, let's not take any survivors. Get him, little Zilp. What's his melee again? 8.68. Oh, my God. He's got grenades. Good kill. Okay, simple meals. Let's strip him. Let's take his clothes. 
That could be super, super useful early on. It's a shame he had grenades and not... So we are playing with combat extended as well. Of course, it's going to make combat a little harder. Shame he had grenades and not a gun, but grenades could be useful in like a big horde scenario. Quickly strip him. Get those clothes. Put whatever on. Uh, he's got a jacket there. Let's quick, quickly wear that jacket, given that we're in, you know, like a literal survival scenario here. Grab that cloth duster. That could help out a lot. Will the knife do more damage than our... So that does... Let's take a look here. So critical chance, parry chance. It's got um, damage per second, 8.38. Now, hopefully, combat extended does work with, with that. Hopefully, that's representative combat extended, not just the base game here. Um, and this one here... Oh, this also gives bonus to disassembly and construction. Oh, interesting. So 5.8... Honestly, I think I'm going to keep the wrench because of those bonuses. We might never get up. We might get eaten long before we ever find that. I'm going to take your grenades as well. Because like I said, in a scenario, that could be very good. Pick up all the meals. Let's pick up the frag grenades as well. And we'll take every single one of those. Oh, shit. We're actually already out of space. We need to find like a backpack or something. That'd be super, super useful early on. Goodbye, James. Nice knowing you. Where did his friend go? I might want to go and club him over the head as well. See if we can't find, uh, get a gun off of him or something like that. We're here for you. There, there was a guy with a backpack back there. Did you see that? TB. TB, I need, your, I need your backpack, my friend, and I won't say no for an answer. Watch out for that scorpion. Okay, come on, take him down. Because that backpack's going to allow us to carry so much extra stuff. Oh, God, he's fleeing. I, I, I'm like that we're trying to survive here, and we're just a psychopath. We're just running through this city. There's people peacefully trying to find, you know, salvage to survive. 26 zombies. Oh, my God. Okay, be careful. Get him. Roof collapse. Oh, my God, there's something happening. Oh my, what? and that must have collapsed, like, over here or something. It, it did seem like the shockwaves came from over there, and it's obviously the... the no way, we got medicine. We got Yayo. I'm not here for the Yayo. I am just here for your, uh, right, 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 strip, strip, strip. Get him. Get his backpack. That's going to be so, oh my god, look at, he had a shield as well. Okay, um, right, right, quickly wear the backpack. Let's put the toque on as well, because that way we've got a, a, a duster and a toque, so no matter what scenario we're in, we should be okay. We got a bruise from ballistic shield, that's okay. Do you want to take that shield? Can we equip that with the, with the wrench? Oh my god, we are so outfit now. Um, let's get some more meals. These simple meals, I think, are going to be so, so useful for us. And let's also grab his medicine. Do we want to take the Molotov cocktails? Probably not. I mean, we've got grenades. Let's just go picking again. Let's see if we can find ourselves some armor or anything. It sounds as if there's combat going on down there, so we should probably move. <gasps> 243 pemmican. Oh, my God. Look at this place. Also, look at the way we're outfitted now, huh? This, this is a quite a nice start. Right, let's grab all of this. Holy shit, this is going to last us ages. Um, take as much as you can. What I might even do is drop those other meals... So that we can hang on to the, uh, so, so let's, uh, let's eat a simple meal. We'll drop the rest on the floor. And then we'll take some pemmican with us instead. So drop those. I might even drop the frag grenades, because realistically, I think the pemmican is going to be literally going to save our life. Okay, there we go. Right, little joke. Do we want to take some medicine as well? We've got two herbal medicine. We've got some regular medicine. Um, oh my god, there's 47 regular medicine there. Damn it. So the mass we're carrying is already, we, we could afford to pick up some more stuff here. Um, inventory is full. Damn it. Ah, uh, what do I swap out? I mean, I feel like the steel ballistic shield is going to be so, so, so good, isn't it? Melee parry chance plus 100%. Um, shit. What do we take? What do we drop here? Could we just trade the regular? I mean, the herbal medicine is slightly lighter, but if we could trade two of those for two of these, that would, that's a good deal. That's obviously an incredibly good deal. There are 25 zombies on the map. I think we're okay to stay for a little bit longer, but we are going to have to consider leaving very, very soon. All right. Oh, what's that? Crypto sleep casket. Okay, that was worrying. Go through here, little joke. Oh, sorry, I've got it paused. My mistake. Um. Okay. How much of this city have we pit through? Barely anything. See, there could be anything. There could be charge rifles. There could be power armor somewhere, and I, I might just end up completely missing it at the rate we're going. Looking for like big old buildings. Let's try in here. Okay, we got bed rolls. Oh my god, bed roll is great, isn't it? All right, quickly, quickly grab that as well. Already uninstalling that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we found medicine, we found long-term food, and we found a bedroll. Um, let's go ahead and drop... Man, let's drop these Twinkies then. And let's take, pick up the plain leather bedroll, and then we'll pick up whatever we've got left. Um, there we go, we can take seven now. Perfect. Okay, this is so, so good. I'm actually really surprised with the amount of... Oh, look at this big old main road, huh? Um, let's just go and keep having a look around. I'm not quite... I'm not quite willing to leave yet. I think we can still find a little bit more. We haven't even seen a zombie, so uh, clearly we're okay for the time being. It's comms console there. We've got way more pemmican as well. There's so much pemmican in these cities. That's probably how we'll have to survive going forward, you know. It's going city to city, finding as much pemmican as possible and just grabbing it. Um, oh, there's clearly something going down over there, huh? Oh, God. Be careful. Let's just go and scope it out. What is it? Oh, it's a horde of zombies attacking these people. It's a horde of zombies attacking these people. I mean, if that guy survives, they do have a... Oh, he's down. Okay, don't even... Just don't even stay. Just keep moving. What's in here, then? 
Can you hear the zombies eating? It's like a little workshop or something. Uh, a couple of meals. There's a bunch of old unpowered smithies that we really can't do anything with. Stay away. Let's stay away from that. That's that's horrible. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that scared the life out of me then. Just a big old cow. Um, right. Maybe now's the best time to leave. We'll check some of these other big buildings while we're in the area, but now that we know there are zombies nearby. 23 zombies. Actually, that's not too terrible. Mega screen television. Oh my god, glitter world medicine. This was worth getting. Okay, drop, drop these ones. Uh, sorry. Drop, excuse me, get out of here. Drop these ones on the floor. Let's grab ourselves some glitter world medicine instead. Then, I think we'll get on the road. Okay, um, cool. We're fine. Do you want to patch them up, actually? Let's patch them up before we leave. Um, let's go restrict. I mean, obviously, that's mostly going to be irrelevant. Prioritize tending to... Can we use the regular medicine for that, though? Prioritize tending to zilp. There we go. Good work. Oh, man. This has already been a, a stressful start. We've got some really good gear, and I'd really hate to die this early on, because it's going to be very unlikely that... Oh, my God. Shotgun shells. Have we found an armory? Have we found an armory? Hang on. Oh, come on. There's got to be a gun around here somewhere. What is that noise? Oh, no. Help me. I'm so scared. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's zombies coming out the floor. Okay. Um, I feel like picking up a shotgun shell is a good idea, just in case we do ever find a shotgun. I mean, that's a lot of bullets. That is a lot of bullets. Oh, man. Our inventory is full. Ah, I don't really know what's a good ratio. Obviously, the more we play through, the more we'll learn sort of what is a good ratio of keep and what is a good ratio to throw away. To be honest, dropping the Twinkies in favor of the Pemmican would be a lot, lot better, I think. Um, how many of these can we pick up? 63. I mean, we don't have a shotgun, though. Until we find a shotgun, what's the point in load loading ourselves down with shotgun shells? Right, keep moving. 35 zombies. Okay, come on, please. I just want a gun. That's all I want. So if we get, if we get a gun, I would leave immediately. Oh, it's also getting really dark. And obviously more zombies will come out in the nighttime. All right, anything? It's fucking, what's that, hoopstone? You don't want that either. All right, uh, I think, I think it's time to leave. Honestly, I think it's time to leave. We could stay, I mean, we could always stay here for the night. Get ourselves entrenched, but... 46 zombies, and now if the hordes are big enough, what they'll do is they'll actually attack and knock down doors and things. So that is not ideal. Um, if we find a bed, I wouldn't be too adverse to staying, to be honest. Especially in like a big complex like this. Oh, we've got a bedroll. I suppose we could just deploy that in one of these sort of more back rooms. Was that a bow? Okay. This is a nicely defended building. I think we could bunker down here for the night. Oh my god, there's a person here. I mean you no harm. You've got a gun though. I mean you harm all of a sudden. Uh, Keller, take a gun. What, what? What's going on? Melee attack and Yuki. Yeah, do it then. Uh, melee attack Yuki? Why is he not doing it? Uh, <laughs> well, this is always a good sign, isn't it? Uh, search and destroy? He can't attack her. Why is that not working? Maybe it's because we've got the shield. Let's drop the shield. I mean, that shield is very heavy. Maybe, maybe... Ah, there we go. Yeah, okay. So I guess the shield is... You know, you're meant to bash people with a shield. You probably can't use a weapon with that. Okay. Take him down. Let's get their weapon. Oh my god, look at how dark it's getting. What I'll do is I'll have to apply like a nighttime filter or something while I'm while I'm editing this and see if we can't brighten up a little bit. My god, this is super, super dark. She had uh, 16 cartridges. The gun is fully loaded. Take her down. Just just, just finish her off, my man. In fact, do you want to strip her first in case she's got some better clothes? Um, goodbye. Good work. I think we'll hide here for the night. Oh my god, she had an armor vest. Tell me that isn't fantastic. Um, oh, inventory is full. Fine, let's, let's equip the gun. I do want to take the wrench with us because the, the building sounds very, very useful. Single shot. There are armor piercing rounds as well, so we've got a little bit more strength to go with that. Take all the pemmican. And now I think we sit and wait. Maybe we should just deploy the bedroll and hide in one of these rooms. Why, why are you not? No, no, equip the gun. There we go. Um, he just keeps throwing out on the floor. Shit, okay. We need to make like a... This is this is combat extended sort of like kind of weird mechanics, I guess. So we need to make a stockpile. Let's haul that urgently. So a little zilp. Uh, prioritize hauling that to the stockpile, and then I'll have to set him up something in his, uh... What is going on outside, huh? 62 zombies. Um, right, so we go to gear. Uh, how was it we do that again? We go to, like, um... Restrict, assign, something like that. Uh, current outfit. The current loadout, there it is. Right, so we want to edit that, and we want to use the spring fields. Oh, are these what are on the map? Oh my god, we can actually see what are on the map. That's a little bit overpowered, but, you know, that's okay. Um, spring, 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 springfield. Is it called just a level? What is it called? What the hell is it? Oh, we still got an inventory. Right, there we go. Okay. So it is a semi... Oh, it's just called semi-automatic rifle. Got it. So let's go back to that loadout and get him set up very briefly with this. Uh, edit. And then we want to go semi-auto. Perfect. Drop the wrench. Drop the, drop the drugs. Why do you have so many freaking drugs, my man? Right, equip that one. And then we should be fine. That's it. Get the pemmican. 
He's gonna go and eat his pemmican. Um, this building is... Oh, no, it's not safe. There's a big old hole in the door there. Uh, I'm gonna forbid him going out there. We're gonna claim and forbid that one. And then we're gonna claim and forbid that one. So now he's just gonna be stuck in here. Which I think is probably for the best. And now we've gotta survive the night, friends. Now we've gotta survive the night. That's it. Uh, go and put your, put your bedroll down. Put your, put your bedroll. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just install that. Oh, man, we have to put install it down here, don't we? Come and install your bedroll down here, little Jilp, and then uh, let's get you a nice night... Sorry, Zilp. Let's get you a nice night's sleep, huh? Okay. A good first day. We got some really, really nice gear out of that. We got ourselves a gun. We got ourselves Glitter World Medicine. We need to take, obviously, more, uh, more pemmican there. What is that? 47 zombies. How long have we got then before we've got to before we've got to get out of here? Six point one years means that we can be fairly cushy. Honestly, I was kind of hoping it would put the pressure on. I thought just give us a year in game would be four seasons. Turns out that's apparently not quite right. It's it, it's something very different to that. All right, and he, he needs the time to I guess heal up. Oh, you know what? We should probably tend to him as well. Might as well use the night to heal. So zombies obviously come out at night and disappear during the day. I believe they actually burn. So fingers crossed that's the case, and then we can actually sit around and uh, wait for all of them to disappear and go out safely into uh, into the outside. All right, and so it begins. Here they come. A group of zombies appear. Okay, they've, they've, they've appeared quite a far distance away. But again, if the group gets big enough, they will attack down our doors. We can see how much HP the door has got, though, even with the Fog of Warbond, which is uh, quite fortunate. 78, 79, 80 zombies. Oh, my God. Okay, it seems like they've sort of... 84, they're fighting all the animals. It's clearly they're, they're trying to hunt those right now. And then the second the sun comes up, hopefully they should start disappearing. That is 100 and... 105, 106? Oh, man. I might have made this a little hard for our first playthrough, huh? But again, if we if we lose, we'll just dive straight back in until hopefully eventually we get this right. Um, are they attacking the doors yet? Still nothing. I think this was a good place because not only if they got to break down this door, they got to break down this door too. And we've got a little bit of an escape route. If we did want to, I mean, I guess immediately leave the map via that door. Huh? We could even deconstruct our own wall. So keep a close eye on that one and we should be good. Aurochs Ball Revenge. They're attacking all the animals here. 127 zombies. Oh my god. Little Zilp, how are we doing? How, how's your health looking here? Um, 22 out of 26. Okay, it's not that bad at all. 85% efficiency. We want to make sure he's moving at, at the top speed before we actually try and leave this place, huh? 4 o'clock in the afternoon and there are still zombies. Oh god, what have I done? And it's night time again. He slept all the way through the night there just to try and get his, uh, try and get his health up. We seem to be okay camping here for a couple of days. Obviously, we've got a decent amount of pemmican here. We've also got fine meals lying around. Granted, there is a body, but that's, you know, there's not a lot we can do about that, huh? You know what we could do? Um, we can make a zone. Uh, I guess I guess we could dump her out here then. Uh, go critical, clear all, and allow corpses. That way, if we want to spend a couple of days in this building, just bunker down eating the food or whatever, then we actually could. We can move a body out there because he's not going to go out there in a hurry. He's got a form of recreation as well. He's got himself a poker table, so we might as well claim that and claim some chairs. Hide in room Zilp. Fantastic. Please don't go through the doors and you should be fine, little Zilp. All the explosion. I have no idea what's going on. I have absolutely no clue what's going on. It's just explosions and screen shaking effects. He's... He's starving just because of his mental breakdown. Obviously, when he gets the uh, when he gets the food into him, he'll be okay here. We've got more than enough food to keep him going. I think we need to get out of here. I think we need to get out of here into the wild, set up a nice camp because this the size of the city is probably encouraging way too many zombies to spawn. Hundred zombies, so the the numbers are decreasing slightly there. It's okay. It was just that big old zombie horde appearing out of nowhere. I guess. Come on, Zilp. Come on, you'll be okay. Just chill out. It's fine. I know it's the end of the world. I know you've just woken up from a head injury. Nothing but your trusty wrench. I've had to murder like three people. You're fine. You're okay. What, what is actually wrong with him? Malnourished, recreation deprived, unsightly environment, serious pain, observed corpse, darkness. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not a good sign, is it? That's not a good sign. And Zilp's still on his... Oh, my God. The blood just, just like pouring out of that room. They haven't attacked the door yet. Now, I can only assume that's because they don't know we're here. Uh, there we go. Okay, right. His, his, his extreme break risk is over. Let's just set him... I mean, his schedule's set to anything, isn't it? I should really set up his priorities then. So, I'll have, um, obviously, these top priority. Thank you very much. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. Um, we're not going to bo bother with any of these ones for the time being, just because it's unnecessary. Like we just need, don't, we don't need those filling in. What we've got to focus is on the survival aspect of things. So, things like butchering, things like cooking... Things like hunting especially, I should probably put that above those. Um, those are not relevant. Maybe construction and deconstruction, not entirely sure. Harvesting, growing, again, if we get if we get what, what feels like a fairly safe area, fairly defensible area, build some walls, build a lot of doors, that type of thing. Get a nice area, set up some farms, and then before we head back out on our trip. Um, we need a comms console, though, don't we, before the AI can contact us. So that's got to be really our first long-term goal here, and I don't know how to approach it whatsoever. Right, there we go. Okay. 
Get some, get some, maybe get some recreation, my friend. Let's go and do that very briefly. I mean, he's, he's only got, he hasn't got an infection, though. Just malnutrition. Eat some food. What's wrong with you? You weird man. Go and eat, eat something. Right, there we go. And he's going to go play a bit of poker. Fine. That's going to keep his mood up, hopefully, for a little bit here. But obviously, he's still trapped indoors in the darkness. Wow, it is so dark. And of course, we do have the realistic darkness mod. But, I'll, but depending on what you guys think, leave your feedback on that when I'm happy to uninstall that. It was just to make the, the game feel a little more... A little more dark, a little more spooky, but obviously if it's too much, if, it, if it's, you know, difficult to watch because of YouTube compression or whatever, let me know and I will remove that. The, the goal of this is obviously to be watchable more than anything else. There is some wood in this other room. If we were quick, we might be able to grab that. Oh, no, the building's on fire. I was going to say we might be able to grab that and set up a campfire. Now, to be fair, it won't matter because it's just this outer wall that will burn away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinstall that into here. I'm going to reinstall these chairs. Um, let's quickly grab those and set up like a like a table and chair somewhere for him to eat. This seems like a pretty decent idea. Um, is this all gonna this is all gonna burn away? Oh my god. Um, unless we quickly deconstruct these walls. Unless we quickly like take out how can I do this? Um deconstruct these. Is this the edge of the map? Oh my god, this is just asking for trouble, isn't it? Go ahead and uninstall these to start off with. Let's queue let's queue all of these to be uninstalled. Okay, there we go. Get yourself a meal. Oh, I can hear the zombies. Alright, that's it. Uh, let's get these hauled as well. I'm going to move the poker table in here so he's at least got a little bit of recreation he's capable of doing there. And then we'll get rid of these walls and we'll just hide in here and just pray. Um, so what we really want to do is... Let me think, how can we do this? Oh, he's got a TV over there. Is there any power on these cables? Nothing. Not really much of a surprise, is it? Is there any power anywhere? Um, there is a solar grid. We could rush and go and get that solar panel. That might be a death wish, but it, it, it also might... I mean, just a tiniest bit of solar panel. Even get a battery or something and drag it over to here. Set up a nice little uh, a nice little area to live in. Go and get rid of these walls. Please be... Please be... Careful! Zilp, 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 zilp. Stop attacking. Run. Well, that should stop the fire. Um, unfortunately, there is a whole bloody horde of zombies now on the other side of our... Forbid that. On the, Forbid that. Excuse me. Claim forbid. On the other side of our bedroom door. Um... Jesus. Okay, wow. That was, um... <laughs> I think they know we're here. I get the strange impression they know we're here, huh? Let's get her into this into this hidden room so we don't have to look at her horrible dead body anymore. There you go. Come through here. Uh, let's forbid that as well. Claim forbid. Right. Oh my god. Are they attacking that door? Are they attacking that door? They're lighting the walls on fire. It's steel. Uh, no, no pressure, Zilp. You might have to put those out. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There's, like, flaming zombies lighting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those zombies are actually using fire. Oh, my God. Please stop. Please stop. We might have to leave. Um, okay. Let's, gra let's grab your bedroll and let's, let's leave. This is horrible. Okay. Um, quickly put that in your backpack. Pick that up. And then we are going to run as fast as we can. We're going to dismantle this wall because we know they're all on this side. Oh, look at how many zombies there are, though. You can tell how many zombies there are by the fact that they're, you know, all on fire. Get yourself tended. Oh my god, he's been bitten. He isn't infected, is he? Uh, Connor's bitten by zombie. So it is unclear if they'll develop an infection. Okay, do we want to take anything from this? Have we got room for maybe a little more pemmican? We can consume it. Is he hungry? Let's just run. Oh, that's flak pants. Okay, wear those. No, 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 no. Wear them. Inventor is full. Um, do I have to drop his old pants first? <laughs> no, let's not worry about that. Let's just let's just get out of here. Why have we only got five pemmican now? Um, no, that's not that's not good. That's not good. Drop those. Let's let's get all this. Let's get as much pemmican as possible because that will obviously last a lot, lot longer than uh, than packaged survival meals. Quickly pick those up. That's still not enough. Um, drop some medicine. We need the gut. We need the ammo, right? We need the. Maybe we don't need the armor vest. We're fighting zombies for God's sake. Right now, pick up all the pemmican. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Can we wear the wear the pants as well? Give us a little bit more defense and then fucking run. Oh my God. We can see them now. Go go go. Get out of here. <gasps> They're in. Oh, no. There's one in here. Um. <laughs> oh, God. We're pinned down. Help me. Okay. Run, little Zelp. Don't bother firing. Don't bother firing. Don't run and gun. Just keep, keep your ass moving. Okay. Maybe we can go through here. Oh, shit. That door's open. That wall is open. It's a good job these zombies aren't particularly smart, huh? Right. Go through there. Okay. Here we go. We're going out into the outside world. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many. Run, little Zelp. Okay, um, there's there's plenty over here, but I think we can probably outrun them. The fire's been quite a nice distractor there. Straight down Fiery Alley. No, 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 no. Straight down Fiery Alley. Go. Okay, no, no, no. Keep running. Never shoot. Never shoot. Never shoot. Just keep running. 
Oh god, they're moving so fast. They must be angered. They must be raged or something. Um, should we leave? Should we leave? I think now's a good time to leave. World, uh, we're gonna go say form caravan. We're gonna say... Now, the issue is, with RimWorld, the direction at which you will leave the map is purely random, right? Um, do we want to take anything with us? I mean, I'd love to take some more... Some more medicine. Um, is there any more food? There's no food. Um, oh, there is food. Hang on. Days of food 7.1. We can still, we can still travel with that. Go. Get out. No, 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 no. He's going to gather the items. I don't want to do that in hindsight. Stop. Uh, stop forming caravans. Stop, uh, stop, 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 stop. Just take what you've got and, and leave. I didn't even think about that aspect of things. Form caravan. Just silp. And then goodbye. Choose route. Just get out of here. We need to go all the way through the mountains. Um, go. Choose. Accept. Boom. We're off. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Now he's got to get to the edge of the map where he... Okay. Now all he's got to do is survive. All he's got to do is get away and survive. Um, ignore. Go. Uh, let's draft and undraft him. What's he doing? Forming caravan wandering. Leave! <laughs> Leave, you madman! Okay, the speed two. There's nothing I can do at this point. We've just got to let the game... We've just got to let the game get him escape. Oh my god, he might... Oh, come on, he might make it. There's a lot of fucking zombies. Come on, little Zilp. Come on, little Zilp, you can do it. Pray for Zilp. Run. Oh god, they're here! I can't speed this up, bear in mind, because if I draft him and undraft him... He'll just, he'll just have to do this whole thing again. He's doing okay. That's it. Go through the building. Slow him down. That was, that was a terrible play. That was a terrible play. I'm going to be honest, little Zilp. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Uh, there's a bear. Ignore the bear. Not important. Through, through this schoolhouse. There we go. Watch out for the zombie. Keep moving. Never stop. Never turn around. Never surrender. This is fine. We actually might make it. Oh, God. There's zombies. There's zombies in power armor. Uh, just ignore him. Just ignore him. They're not big groups. Oh, we're free. Holy shit. We actually fucking made it. We actually made it. And now he's going to start traveling. Now we do have the ability to set up camp as well. So let's get out of here. Ooh, that was horrendous. That was horrendous. I'll be completely honest with you. That was that was horrible. I assume as we're moving, we haven't got to worry about the undead or anything like that. Certainly seems to be the case. Um, let's get to this area and let's set up a camp and get him treated. Because that was, um, I mean, life-threatening. Oh, is he, is he sleeping? Is he sleeping? Uh, resting, using one bedroll. Okay. Fine. How do we set up a camp then? Someone's going to be directly adjacent. Yeah, sure. We need to move into this square first. Then we'll set up a little camp. Get himself treated. Make sure we're okay. Um, okay, hurry up. I don't care about I don't care about any of these things. Thank you. Can we abandon our only colony? I think I might break the game, but I, I will have to do that at some point. See if it works. Come on. Come on. Keep moving, little Zilp. I know he's out. He's out into the wilderness now. He's out in the desert. He's fine. He hasn't got to worry about zombies or anything while he's on the road. And that's all we as the player have to do now is focus on uh, set up camp. Here we are. The whole new world. And I guess it has to generate a map. This is a horrible place to uh, it's a horrible place to set up camp. But you know what? Look around. What do you see? That's right. Nothing. And that means no zombies. Okay. Have we got like agave fruit or anything on this map? First thing we need to, we need to patch our man up here. What a daring survival. What an absolutely daring survival. What a, what a great day. Right. Um, I should, should have really set up that comms console before we left to... Um, okay. Can we, not, can we not tend? Oh, he's already tended. No infection risk. Okay. He didn't actually get hit then. All right. Well done, everyone. Um, now we just need to run around getting food and things over the next sort of couple of days before we uh, before we head out. So let's harvest all plants. Uh, no new plants to harvest. Oh, God, really? There's nothing here. I mean, there is that agave fruit, which I guess he found on his way over here. But um, just let him do what he wants, I guess. Let's, let's go and scout around, see if we can't find anything. But I guess we'll just immediately head back out again, huh? We need to build a comms console. Now, I don't believe we actually have the research to do that, do we? So we're going to have to stop and start doing the um, the microelectronics research till eventually we can get the comms console, find out where the AI spaceship is, and then and then leave the planet on that. Uh, that's pincushion cactus. Okay, that could work. Maybe we need to actually look around the map and find these things first. I think we should probably abandon that, but I am kind of worried it is going to break the game. Oh, no, we're good. We're fine. Nothing to worry about then. Okay, little Zilp, it is you versus the world at this point. I think we probably just want to get out of here, don't we? Um, there's nothing ready for us in the desert. We need to make our way up to Tundra. We need to make our way up to somewhere where there are animals. I don't know how many days of food we've got, but hopefully on the way up there. So where would be our best port of call? Um, I guess trying to head over down to here. You know, down through, uh, go through the mountains, go past these. We could always visit these settlements as well, don't forget. Safety tree. That sounds pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, wow. I have no idea where we should start heading to again. Until we get that spaceship, we can't really know. Let's go. Reform the caravan. And let's head out into the world. Take your fruit with you. Take your pemmican. Take your medicine, obviously. We don't want to take any chunks or walls. Thank you for the offer, though. How many days of food have we got? 2.8. How long will it take us to get to the grasslands? Um, 4.3 days. 
Uh, okay, forage for amount 100%. We should be good. We should be able to forage enough to get through this desert. Off we go, little Zilp. Off we go. In typical RimWorld massive mod pack fashion, the second I say let's go do something, uh, the game is crashed. So don't worry about that too much. I, like I said, I think it's uh, this is definitely an issue with not having a base. The game doesn't really know how to deal with that. So our starting city next time, we'll just have to leave there. But it's not exactly a big deal, is it? It's just going to ensure the game will actually run. Hope you like this idea. Let me know if you've got any changes or anything you'd like to see added to the mod pack. Give me some feedback on the darkness as well, because at the end of the day, this has to be watchable above everything else. So even though the darkness does add a little bit to the sort of ambiance of things, if, it, if it's making it unwatchable, I will remove it, because obviously, you know, that's sort of the, the whole goal of YouTube, right? Anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who made this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Bacon Kitten, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukuno Vasquez, Fluffinutter, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, John the Waters, Josh Lindine Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smug, Musk Ratful, Nat Buskus 911, Nathan Flores, Necrofillin, Pelvis Presley, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Shayok Sinclair, Stannis the Manis, The Forsaken One, T Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, and William Green for their sport at the insane tier levels on Patreon. The ones who make the channel possible. Thank you. Much appreciation to all of these guys and for their support as well. Let's not forget to give a very important shout out to all of these names, which I'm definitely going to butcher and I'm definitely going to get wrong. So I apologize in advance. And a big thank you to Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Baldoom, Ben Trope, Bestmas Max, Better Valerian, Black Her, Chris, David Van Liepen, Don, Don Connie 207, Easier to Pronounce Name, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gompo, Gray, Haji Dumar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Irish, Israel, Isaac, Jay Lehrer, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Smirtworm, Talar, The Bloody Knight, Valon Quarry, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Winston Natef, Wilson Natef. That name, it's because it, it's because Patreon's like combined it all into one. There we go, right? Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico too. Thank you all for your support, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow for maybe a fresh silp, depending on not whether or not this saves. But regardless, hopefully this is going to be uh, an, an interesting playthrough.